name is Terence Gerbo with the Federation of Alberta Gas Co-ops. I'm the measurement tech here. I help facilitate with RMO 1 and 2 training where we teach our members how to operate and maintain an RMO station. Uh, in our facility here we have our mock RMO that we use for training which has multiple runs with multiple scenarios. So all of our students leave with an excellent knowledge and know-how of how to operate and maintain an RMO station. At our station, the first thing we have is our station inlet valve down here, and we also have a functioning bypass to show, which we do not normally operate, but it is here with a locked valve. As we come into our station, we have an alcohol injection package that we can operate and show guys how it works and test if they're setting it correctly. We then have on our top run here, we have a Mooney working monitor run, which is fully functional. And on our bottom run, we have our bypass, just a single cut with our token relief on the bottom. And that is our first side of the station. Okay, on the back wall of our RMO here, we have a Y strainer on the inlet side to our meter. We also have our bypass for a meter to teach guys the proper operation of how to bypass a meter and bring it back online. Here we have our Roots 3M meter with a Mercury Mini AT instrument on it, which is fully functional. We can have them set alarms, we can have them show us how to properly depressurize the Roots meter, change oil, or make any modifications. Uh, on our final run of our station, we have our glow valve here with our 677 actuator, which we have a Fisher Wizard controller as well as a Becker Gap controller, which both can operate the valve to teach our students how to operate a Becker controller as well as the Fisher Wizard controller. Uh, on our bottom run here, our bypass, we have a standby or wide open monitor 627 setup to teach our students how to set up a wide open monitor setup. We also have our odorant tank here, which we have our three-way valves, everything set up properly so we can walk the students with how to set it up for filling, how to set it up, and we also have the micrometer valve teach our students how to set the micrometer valve for odorant levels and to check the reading in the tank. We also have a working catadine heater that we can fire to show the proper operations of a catadine heater. A conventional bath style line here that's been taken out of service. We have holes cut in so our students can see the fire tube as well as our gas tubes running through it with all of our proper safety shutoffs, our flame arrester, and our fill pot to show the students proper levels for filling and how to light and maintain it. Our cold weather style line here that we have, which is fully functional, which we fire to show students how the new style line heaters work. We also have a Eucotherm container here with a pump so that we pump the Eucotherm through the line heater to show as it warms up the difference in temperatures between the inlet and outlet. For training purposes as well, when we have our full class, because it's not possible to have everybody in our RMO all at once, we have our two separate reg trains here, another Mooney working monitor, as well as a double run, double cut setup that guys can work on, so everybody gets a chance to be hands on, which we run everything off our screw compressor, which puts out over 150 pounds, so we can have multiple cuts and different things for guys to try been a brief overview of our RMO facility for training and thank you very much for your interest in watching.